Good evening, everybody. Andrew Mangeris here from Kayani Corporate Headquarters, the Chief Product Officer at Kayani. I want to welcome you to our Wednesday webinar. Um, we're excited to have you on our Wednesday webinar today. Um, Wednesday webinars are every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And tonight I'm going to be your host and we're going to talk a little bit about some science behind one of the ingredients that we have in our product. And so we're excited to share that with you. And first of all, let's get started by showing a disclaimer here. These statements, of course, have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or condition. And the clinical studies, which I will be going through depicted in this presentation, address the impact of specif specified ingredients generally and not any Kayani product specifically. So with that, let's go on to the next one. Vitamin E, which is one, tocotrienol is a vitamin E, is the main lipid soluble antioxidant in the human body. This of course came from one of the renowned antioxidant doctors, Dr. Ronald Watson from the University of Arizona. Um, tocotrienols is the world's most potent form of vitamin E. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. Now, many of you know that in our sunset, we have our tocotrienols that are in there from an annatto source. And we're going to get into some details about the difference between tocopherols and tocotrienols. And first, we're going to talk about the potency of antioxidants. Tocotrienols are much more potent than a typical tocopherol. Um, alpha tocopherol, of course, was discovered almost 100 years ago, and people have been talking about it and using it in a lot of products and consuming it. But it wasn't until more recently that tocotrienols was discovered. And it is much more potent than tocopherols. And it comes from the vitamin E family. And you can see here, there are eight different types of vitamin E. So if you look at the outside small circles, the green ones, the small circle green ones on the left are the tocopherols, and then the small circles on the right are the tocotrienols. Um, delta and gamma, there in the white circles on the right around the, the red, are the ones that we use in our Anato product here in the US. Now in some of the other markets around the world, you may have individuals or people on your team that use some of the other ones, and we do have different sources depending on registration in some of the foreign markets, which we won't go into here, but you can contact the foreign offices to find out exactly some of the details of those formulas. So alpha tocopherol, there on the bottom left, of course, is, is known by most of the world, but the tocotrienols there, the delta and the gamma, are what we use in our natto source and are much more potent uh, form of vitamin E. So, what does what do tocotrienols do? What are some of the benefits of tocotrienols? And you can see here a list. Um, and this is not an extensive or a complete list of all the benefits of tocotrienols, just some of the ones that we have listed here. It supports cardiovascular health, supports healthy inflammation response, supports cognitive function, promotes healthy immune response. And I'm going to talk about immune tonight. Um, specifically, this, this call is going to go through some studies we haven't talked about before on immune system. Um, it also supports healthy bones and supports healthy skin and hair. And that, of course, a lot of people use it and can use it in conjunction with some of the other products that we have that also support skin and hair. With that, the FDA has talked about different antioxidants. And this is a disclaimer that you can use and you can tell people some scientific evidence suggests that consumption of antioxidant vitamins may reduce the risk of certain forms of cancer. Now that is a statement about an immune system, right? An immune response. Um, however, the FDA has determined that this evidence is limited and not conclusive. Of course they have. But let's look at some of that evidence because there is evidence that does suggest that there are benefits to certain antioxidants, particularly with tocotrienols. With that, the Journal of Nutrition published an article that's dietary supplementation with tocotrienols enhances immune function in blah, 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 right? In these mice. Well, that is specifically representing the lymphocytes. Um, and it was a study showing between your control group and then those who took T3. T3 
is often used as a short acronym for tocotrienols. And the T3 group had in, in significant increase in their lymphocytes. Um, and they were measuring, now lymphocytes, just for your understanding, is one of the cells in the body that is a measurement of your immune system. And so those lymphocytes go out and they help to destroy some of the bad cells or the bad guys in your system. And it's part of that immune system that we have that helps protect us. And so they wanted to measure it and see what would happen if they took more tocotrienols compared to people who didn't, or mice in this case, to see if there was a response in their immune system. And definitely there was a response in their immune system, as you can see. So with that, let's look at another one. This is the Biomed Research International. Uh, supple here, the title of the published article says, Supplementation with Natural Forms of Vitamin E Augment Antigen Specific TH1 Type Immune Responses. So what they're doing is they're looking at some specific different markers that show immune response in your system. And there was a almost 70% increase in the immune response of those who took T3 or the tocotrienols in that group compared to those who are the control group. Um, again, there at the bottom, you can see the reference. If you actually wanna go and research and pull it up on your, pull it up yourself on pubmed.gov where this published study is, and you can see the abstract there and read through that. So again, you can see um, by this study that there are benefits to tocotrienols and taking tocotrienols uh, for the immune system. Now, a lot of people, of course, are concerned right now about some of the things that are going on around the world from different type of viral infections and, and so forth. So one of the things that we wanted to do is say, hey, listen, we've got great ingredients in our products that have some great history that talk about the, how they support our immune system. And of course, that's what we want. We want to support our immune system the best that we can. In fact, recently when we did a survey, we did a survey with a number of our um, field customers as well as our business partners. And one of their biggest concerns, and this was actually before this outbreak of the coronavirus, but one of their biggest concerns is immune system. People don't want to get sick. They don't want to miss school. They don't want to miss work. They don't want to have to miss. There's billions and billions of dollars lost every single year because people are sick. Not to mention the mounting healthcare costs that grow and grow each year. And so going to your doctor gets more and more expensive. The prescriptions get more and more expensive. And so it's extremely expensive to not have or to have a compromised immune system. And we all want to have a strong immune system. Let's look at another one. Journal of Nutritional Biochemistry, specific accumulation of tocotrienols in tumor and the anti-tumor effect in vivo. Okay, in vivo just means in a live subject. A tumor refers to cells that are abnormal cells that are growing like a cancer cell. And so if you look at the concentration of tocotrienols in normal cells, and then if you take samples of tumor cells, you see a higher concentration very, very significantly higher concentration. What is that saying? Is that saying that there's a, some kind of a correlation there? Well, what we do know and what they published in this study is intriguingly, and this is a quote directly from the study, intriguingly, we found that tocotrienols or T3 was detected in the tumor, but not in normal tissues. These results, to our knowledge, are the first demonstration of specific accumulation of gamma tocotrienols and delta tocotrienols in tumors and suggest that tocotrienols accumulation is critical for the anti-tumor activities of tocotrienols. So what is happening here? And let's dumb it down and, and understand. When you pull out these tumor cells, you find that tocotrienols is almost targeting the tumor cells and is, being, is going towards those tumor cells rather than normal tissue cells. Why? Because of that anti-tumor activity that it has or that they were able to see in this study. Again, published in the Journal of Nutrition 
nutritional biochemistry. And you can go and see the reference there at the bottom as well and pull that up. So we just wanted to give you this week a quick brief overview of the importance of protecting your immune system, the importance of some of these ingredients in helping to support a healthy immune system. Um, two weeks from now, I want to let you know that we are going to be doing a special Wednesday webinar with an author that knows a lot about the world's most potent antioxidant. And he is going to join me on the Wednesday webinar in two weeks from now and has been studying and researching this ingredient. And so that was, that's going to be on astaxanthin. And as many of you know, we use astaxanthin in our sunset and how powerful and potent it is. So look forward to that special Wednesday webinar in two weeks. Next week, we will have Skylar Stephenson and he will be talking about sales and going back, we'll go, go to that. And then the following week, of course, then we'll come back to the astaxanthin. Thank you guys for joining us. Appreciate it and hope you have a wonderful evening.